Guan Yu, god of war, fell at my castle. As promised, Sun Quan receives a large portion of Jing province for cooperating with Cao Cao. However, the cost of breaking the alliance with Shu and killing Liu Bei's sworn brother would not be small. With the alliance gone, the united stance against Wei fell apart. Elsewhere, having witnessed the changes he had planned, Cao Cao quietly drew his last breath. He entrusted the future to his son, Cao Pi. The world of the Three Kingdoms was about to enter a new phase. I am a total disgrace. I was totally oblivious to our Lord's condition. In the end, I never repaid the debt I owed him. Chiu, you are not the only one who feels down. My father's death has shaken the core of the very land itself. However, if we do not overcome this grief, all of Cao Cao's efforts will have been for nothing. And as his children, we must set an example for others. Yes, you're right. I'm an important member of the Cao family. In times like these, I must try harder than everybody else. I apologize for showing such weakness. I promise to serve you with every fiber of my being, Master Cao Pi. Indeed, your honesty is your greatest strength. I am counting on you immensely. Master Cao Pi, the Emperor has issued a decree naming you the King of Wei. The King of Wei? So, he wishes me to follow in my father's footsteps. However, that is not enough to satisfy my ambition. I shall reach the heights achieved by my father, or should I say, I shall surpass him. Surpass him? What do you mean by that? In other words, you wish to become emperor, Master Cao Pi. It is the most logical decision if I am to make way even stronger and bring peace to the land. I see. While I am sure you'll face opposition, it should not be anything we can't handle. Do you wish to make your move right away? Yes, but we must follow the proper procedure and force him to abdicate. Only then can I begin to create a new world of my own design. It seems that the Han Imperial Court is about to meet its end. Shh! You mustn't say things like that out loud. If one of the Cell family were to hear you! Did you hear the news? Lord Cao Pi is about to be named Emperor! Huh? What about the current Emperor? D don't tell me that they... I heard that Lord Cao Pi said the Emperor wishes to abdicate the throne voluntarily. That's ridiculous. Why would he just give up the throne like that? Lord Cao Pi must be applying pressure to him. So that means he's forcing the Emperor to abdicate just to deflect suspicion of his intentions? If so, Lord Cao Pi is one terrifying individual. I agree. He's like the worst kind of villain.
see a thing amid this chaos. You just need a haircut. Your fringe is always getting in your eyes. Master Cao Pi, the stage preparations are complete. The stage. So this is where the Emperor will abdicate the throne and transfer authority to me. This ceremony should serve as a fitting end to the Han and herald the birth of the Wei Emperor. My lord, it appears that the faction supporting the Emperor has begun to step up their activities. It seems there is somebody behind the scenes looking to incite them. If we proceed with the abdication now, it is only likely to invite further violence. We must deal with this immediately. You're right, Sima Yi. If Wei is to create a new age of stability for the land, we must eliminate any who oppose my ascension. Relations between Wu and Shu are strained due to Guan Yu's death. This is our chance to solidify our power. Do whatever you can to expedite the process. We must... Sure. My ascension to the throne. Do not look past any detail, no matter how trivial it may seem. <laughs> Very well. Unsettling rumors that people close to the Emperor are planning to attack Master Cao Pi's residence. As long as I'm around, I refuse to let anybody attack our Lord. I shall serve as the shield that protects our home from harm. Fight to defend our lord! Defeat the brigand, Salpi! Brilliant! 
the Han finally finished! Two! <laughs> Just perfect. Your skills are simply magnificent. Master Sao Pi is not fit to be emperor. We shall never permit such tyranny. He is an emperor who ignores bandits attacking the people. Truly worthy of the title. Chance to line our pockets. You don't hold back, do you? Time to quit the bandit game, I think. You defeated some bandits. And that makes you worthy to be Emperor, does it? The Emperor must see all. Does he know these beasts pillage his fields? Thank you so much. You saved us. I have seen 
your love for your people. Please forgive any past slights. I have to accept you now. I will go along with whatever the Emperor decides. We must honor the Dark Tower by keeping way. <laughs> perfect! Just perfect! A truly amazing performance. You don't need me around. I cannot believe the rumors I am hearing in Luoyang. Could Master Cao Pi really be plotting to assassinate the Emperor? That sounds like the rumor being spread by the Shu spy. We can't let this go any further. We must find the spy and shut him up. a suspicious person here. They headed off cautiously down that path. Ugh, I've heard some nasty rumors. From that person over there, actually. Based on the information we've obtained so far, hmm, I have a feeling the spy is over there. Information I have obtained so far. I anticipate Shu's spies to be in that area there. Uh oh. I've been spotted, but I won't let you catch me. There's no escaping! 
resistance is futile! There's no chance of spreading any rumors now. I'll have to go back and apologize to Master Jugo Liang. The mind shall vanquish. Well done. You have the heart of a warrior. <laughs> perfect. Just perfect. An amazing performance. I'm glad we're on the same side. So, have you dealt with the people who stood in my way? It seems we have won over the Emperor's loyal supporters. That is one less thing for us to worry about. We have driven off the Shu spies. Thank you, everyone. I am impressed with your efforts. We have eliminated the Emperor's supporters that opposed my ascension. This will show the land how foolish it is to stand against me. Now, there are none left to oppose me taking the throne. At last, we can guide the land on a course towards peace and prosperity. Liu Bei has taken the mantle of Shu Emperor, and it seems he wasted little time in attacking U. How could he do such a thing? There is already a Wei Emperor, who was chosen by the former Han Emperor. Not only that, but he immediately went to war after naming himself Emperor. And it is not the Wei Emperor he acts against, but Wu. Liu Bei is driven by rage following the death of Guan Yu and seeks vengeance. Ha! Huh. I can understand the sentiment. Master Cao Pi. No, I mean, Your Imperial Highness. There's no need to be so formal, Chiu. So Shu has attacked U. I have a feeling Liu Bei will suffer a massive defeat in this battle. Hmm. What makes you think that? Their formation indicates they are following the topography of Yi Ling and are stretched pretty thin. A well-placed strike will divide their ranks. They must not have Zhuge Liang with them. Either that, or Liu Bei is not listening to his advice. He is so consumed with rage, he does not realize the danger he is putting his men in. How tragic. That's rather unfortunate for them, but it presents a great opportunity for us. Prepare to march. This is our chance to finish off Shu for good. W wait my lord! You are emperor now! We cannot allow you to put yourself in harm's way like this! Hmm... You presume to tell your emperor what to do? I... I would never be so bold! I must apologize for speaking out of turn in such a way! No, think nothing of it. You were merely concerned for my safety. I do not blame you for that. However, a country with an emperor who only sits on his throne 
is destined to fail. This is my chance to show our superiority over our Han predecessor. Your Highness, allow me to offer my congratulations. <laughs> there is no need to suddenly be so formal. Huh. Sima Yi, tell me something. Why was Father... Why was Tao Tao only King of Wei? If he had only desired it, he could have taken the throne. Lord Cao Cao's main purpose was to restore order to the land. I believe he believed that by restoring and protecting the Han court, he was simply acting upon the best strategy to do exactly that. Hmm. Even though it had been on the verge of corruption, he sought the peace he knew, rather than an unknown possibility. And that was simply a display of human nature. Hmm. An excellent answer, Sima Yi. Thanks to you, I am once again convinced of the path I have chosen. I will not look to anyone else anymore. I will not bend to anyone. I will change this land with my own hands. The grand rule of Zhao Wei starts now! The Shu forces suffered a massive defeat at Yiling, and Liu Bei has retreated to Beidi Castle. We should mobilize our army and attack them from five directions in order to ensure that Shu is finally annihilated. Five directions? That is a massive undertaking. Furthermore, in addition to our war against Shu, I propose we move the capital to Luoyang. It will be more efficient in terms of communications and supplies. Very well. I shall place you in charge of our efforts to defeat Xu and transfer the capital, Sima Yi. As you command, my lord. I want you to head for Ji Ting and await further order.
I can see the reason for attacking Shu and moving the capital. However, why does His Highness simply do what Master Sima Yi says? I have a feeling that soon, Wei will be completely under Master Sima Yi's control.